All right, folks. This is Jeff from Jeff and Ben's Outdoors. We're headed up the valley to a place we call the Culvert, that area. Went yesterday and we caught a few small bass, crappie. It was a different type of weather yesterday. Wind was blowing, spitting rain, and I see the sun's coming up on the horizon. I believe this is the May the 1st, and Ben don't know it yet, but we're going to be in competition today. I'm not sure how many of the fish, if any fish, get caught will be on video, but I'm wanting to uh, uh, see if I can't beat him today, catch more fish. Sometimes when we go, he'll... Uh, catch more than me or I'll catch more than him Sometimes one will get skunked and the other won't and Vice versa, but this time We're looking at such a beautiful sun rise I hope the camera's picking that up or not but Sun's up coming up and It's gonna be a different day today than it was yesterday and uh, weather-wise, temperatures a lot warmer today. And I'm going to mention to him here in a little bit we're having a competition, a friendly competition. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we always do it, you know, and don't bring it up. But you know how it is. You want to you outdo the other fella if you can. But I hope one of us catches a monster. I hope one of us catches a real big bass today. So, it's May the 1st, 2020, and we're doing our social distance thing. He's driving the truck, pulling the boat, and I'm driving my car. That's what we do. That way, we don't transmit it back and forth if one of us should have it. And that's the way we've done it. And he'll be on one end of the boat and I'll be on the other. Be about eight to 10 feet apart. So you wish us luck today. Hopefully uh, we'll get into them. I caught uh, about seven or eight yesterday with a uh, Bass Tourney Pro, Bass Pro Tourney Lure using the white with the blue back and had the shad little uh, black dot on his side and uh, Ben wasn't using that he was using jerk bait and worm plastic worm so uh, hopefully they'll be back on that tourney special and uh, hitting the plugs again warmer temperatures warmer water uh, the lake's up TVA's held it up. It's, we've had a lot of uh, severe rains here in the last, well, this whole month, really, we've had a lot of rain. So the lake's up, and the fish are kind of fickled a little bit, but they'll be biting, I, I, I hope, today. So you wish us luck, and let's see if the old man can't beat uh, Ben in the tournament today. Folks, I got a monster, probably a carp. Feels like a catfish. Yep, it's a bass. Striper. Check it out. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> no, it's a Wawa. Hurry. Oh, look what a Wawa, son. Look what a Wawa. Yeah, baby. He's done. Went and swallowed it. You know What's what? that white on top of him? That's somebody's lure. Is it? Yeah. I thought it <laughs> looked like it. Yeah. Talk about some good eating. Fish number one. Yeah. Look what a walleye. That's on a Bobby Garland. Yeah. 
The cheddar bait? Yeah. Awesome. One to one. Good one. On the chatter bait. Get the net, get the net. I'm rolling. Get the net. Get the net. We got a good one on, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that is a. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Hope I got it on video. That's number two. Yeah. Let's see him. Nice. Go back and get bigger. Look for what I got on him. He's healthy. Yeah. Let's get another. Nice. Don't, don't, don't pull. Easy, easy. Ha <laughs> ha! Even Steven! That might be the same bass. No. I doubt it. Lord's looked down on us to, today and said, I'm going to bless them. We need to get it on video if we can. He ate that. Oh, man. What was you using? Chatterbait with a trailer on it. So hold him up there. Awesome. Good one. I wasn't rolling. They're loving this chatterbait. Yeah. I'm gonna have to change over in this shallow water, I guess. Yeah, I got a chatterbait in town. Okay, folks, we're even Steven, four to four. If you go by size on the bass, he's got me beat, but I did catch a bigger walleye, or a walleye. So we're even Steven, I guess. He liked that Bobby Garland. Monster. Easy boy, don't get no hook in me. I'm gonna let you go. The baby. It's a baby. Well folks, we're coming off the lake. We ended up going to the hatchery, what we call the hatchery. Hatchery's on the on one side of the lake, and, and there's a dam. But we put in there. We got a little bit of footage of what we caught this morning. The wind was very, very, very hard. Hard to control the boat hard to uh, get herself situated but the lake's flooded <clears throat> and we went up in the flooded waters in the trees we got uh, wind that there were uh, big bass coming up in that shallow water in the trees and someone said that uh, you could go in there and 
catch the bass right now, so we decided to do that. My son used chatterbait, and of course I used the crankbait. Shad colored crankbait. But on our way to it, we stopped at the overflow at the hatchery. And I dropped the Bobby Garland down in there. And that uh, walleye hit it. And he's a pretty good walleye, about, I'd say 27, 28 inches, maybe, maybe longer than that. I don't know. When we get home, we'll measure it. But he's going on the dinner table. Anytime I catch a walleye, substantial size walleye, I take it home and eat it. A really good fish to eat. Real tasty. But I believe that I won the tournament that Ben didn't know about. Uh, I caught one more fish than him as far as bass and walleye. I actually caught two tiny bass on the Bobby Garland and the Bluegill, but I believe I won the tournament. So you can see how pretty it is outside, the blue skies, and we're headed home. But the wind is so terrible that all we've got is that little 30 pound thrust trolling motor on that boat. It was pulling anchor. The wind was blowing so hard we, we'd anchor up and it'd pull anchor. So it was a struggle, but we did good. But anyhow, we stopped at a little place yesterday evening on the way home. And there was an older guy and our gentleman. It's a little bait shop. And he let us have a little bit of a clue of what's, what they're hitting and where they're hitting at. He said he lost uh, a big one, and like I did yesterday, but he had caught two seven-pounders in there, and uh, we didn't get no seven-pounders, but we did get some nice little bass this morning. I think that one may have weighed three pounds plus. But anyhow, old old Pappy won the tournament, I do believe. So. We're thankful that uh, we were able to fish as hard as the wind was blowing. And we finally did get off to a place where uh, there's a little cove, kind of like. Usually when the lake drops, there's a pond left over below the hatchery. And that's, that's where we fished at this morning, most big part of the day. So we only fished about three hours, and we did pretty good, so I won the tournament. <laughs>